hang around those raiders? I want nothing to do with you. I think we can make this place home for a lot of people. Yourself included. That miscreant from Kratos scratched my chassis on the way in. How rude! You wouldn't happen to know how to get coffee stains out of wood, would you? Uh, it's some sort of relief effort for all of the refugees in and around Appalachia. Uh, if only there was a relief effort for my stress. I do apologize for the mess. Please enjoy your stay. A safe haven filled with people trying to help others? Oh, it feels like I've died and gone to heaven. Oh, or hell, if you look out Hang the window. Hang in there, Hex. I won't let you die on me. Hey, sport. You wouldn't happen to be handy with an electro compression spanner, would you? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you aren't. I invented the thing. Sorry to put you on the spot, kid. I'm Skippy Rorich. But you can call me Skip, Roe, Skippo, or whatever else you fancy. I'm here on behalf of the Union. We're a band of loose-knit freedom fighters from the pit up north. We're looking to get our home back from a group of raiders called the Fanatics. Hoping Appalachia has some help to offer in that. The pit is, well, it used to be Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Now it's something else entirely, overrun by all manner and nasty. But it's our home, and we want to win it back, clean it up, and make it livable again. Don't let me keep you. changes. They got rid of the donuts and the staff and the whole world. The spot is still here. Joyce did her best. They all did. Hope they make it out there. As for me, I'm going to stay right here. Have one last donut. Whatever happens, happens. Everything changes. But Places I could have ended up. I'm extremely lucky I'm here. 
me and Orlando are about to have some words. Go on and get your management to keep the place clean if you don't like the way I do it. Heard folks had all the coffee they can drink before the war. Lucky bastards. Well, not lucky. What with the... Well, seems like timing is one of your strong suits. Look, I can stitch up a gash with the best of them. But Appalachia... Well, she can do a lot worse than cut us open. Cut a lot of folks here with sickness we don't understand. And injuries we don't know how to treat. What we need more than anything is know-how. So I propose we trade. What I got that I don't need, for what you need that you don't got. I've heard you're looking ahead into the pit. And the only safe way out of Appalachia is that metal bird Lennox has perched up on the roof. And what keeps her in the air are those ultrasight cells Orlando keeps locked up. So, that's the deal. You bring back medical information that'll help me figure out how to help these folks, and I'll get you all the juice you need. AVR Medical Center down in Charleston should have what we're looking for. So, how about it? Nice. Well, let's get to it then. Anything you're able to find, go ahead and bring it back to our lead medic. I'll let her know to look for you. Good luck out there. I heard a bunch of nerds arguing over comic book heroes yesterday. Aren't there more important things this? to worry about? A, a sprinkle of that. Bonjour. My name is Esme Rousseau. But most people around here know me as Chef Esme. We've had some representatives from Foundation and Crater come here seeking assistance with the recent influx of refugees. I thought that we could help them out by providing some food for their people. I've started a pot of venison and tato stew. One of my newest creations. Would you be able to help me finish it? How wonderful! I can't wait to whip up something delicious for everyone! The stew requires tatoes, venison, salt, black pepper, and carrots. The ingredients can be found in our storage area. Your job is to grab the ingredients and put them in before the stew burns. Super! Let's have you start by stirring the stew, which will help keep it from burning. Remember to continuously stir during the cooking process. The work I do is extremely rewarding, but boy, is it tiring. Fantastic! Let's get the first of the ingredients and prepare them. You're looking for carrots, potatoes, and the pièce de résistance, the venison. I know it was way back, but I'm glad they chose to send me somewhere safe and not somewhere. This wanton robot tried to give me a haircut before running off. Helping people is a chief mission. I can't get a the cool uniforms are just a nice bonus. Mm. Mm. This bloody feuille really elevates the Mirelurk meat. Orlando is very charming, but the 
be honest with you. I'm not really sure Ooh, why. Spider's gonna need more jumpsuits at this rate. trying to help others oh, feels like I've died and gone to heaven oh, poor hell if you look out the window these robots sure make my job easier we could always use an extra hand around here there's times you've got to accept the card you were dealt Learn to make the best of it. I heard there's a chess set around here if you ever want to play. Robot butlers? Is this a refuge or a palace? Murder bird ain't the only thing. Run it on empty around here. I hope you get some that clown meat sooner. Its tenderness is magnifique. Helping people is our chief mission. The cool uniforms are just a If you're caught out and about with no place to go, the responders have an outpost in Flatlands. Required. Help yourself to any cable. My friend, I hope you will stop by and join us for dinner sometime. Au revoir. Folks don't join the responders for cabs. They join to make a difference. Safe haven filled with people. Don't trying to bother help talking others. to that person. From it crazy. feels like I'm dying in front of heaven. Lunch, aren't they? Or hell, if you look out the window. If you want something done right, you gotta make sure you don't get shot, stabbed, or ransacked, or blown up. The work I do is extremely rewarding, but boy, is it tiring. single person could be spread so thin. No mouth in Appalachia when you're see hungry with yourself. Is me around. Hey, waiter. We'll be with you shortly. This wandering robot tried to give me a haircut before running off. Any idea where Orlando Shame? gets their clothes? I can't get it back by myself. I can't believe we got a vertebird. That's a step up in the world if I've ever seen one. The potatoes here taste amazing. So fresh, and only a few rats. Oh no, the 
stew has burned. Do not be discouraged, though. Without failure, there is no improvement. Here is your stew. Something is better than nothing, yes? Hopefully, either the settler or radio representative will find some use for this. I last saw them in the bar area. Good morning. The dining room is open for... Help support the responders. Build up the refuge and give comfort to your fellow person. You might not need it, but I guarantee somebody else does. If you got some spare supplies burning a hole in your pocket, why not help us help others? You're already here. You might as well invest in the future. Well, hello there, stranger. Pleased to meet you. I'm Sophie, Sophie Wagner. Look around. The refuge. Quite a place, isn't it? I mean, sure, fancy pants, golf club, resort, that's nice, but I'm talking about the refuge. A haven for the lost, the dispossessed, the hungry, and unfortunate. A monument to our ability to have compassion for each other. Isn't it grand? Isn't it worth preserving? Building? Growing? It's been sunny. Now all that's day. what I'm talking about. Love it here. People supporting each other. You got the right spirit. Damn, that blood Rucker's put me in charge nice. of running a bit of a donation that drive. Like Have you met Rucker? She's amazing. You should. Anyway. Here. It might surprise you to know an operation like this is always churning through supplies. We work hard to keep things in stock, and that funny Orlando character does their best to help out as well, but well, we still have shortfalls. So here I am, asking generous folks such as yourself to help us fill in those gaps and keep the refuge running. Let me check my notes. Rucker's been in a tizzy because we just don't have enough wood to keep up. It'd be a big help if you could donate maybe 50 pieces of scrap. One less thing on Rucker's mind, you know. Well, trees. Lots of fallen trees around. And anything made of wood, really. If it's even partly made of wood, you can scrap it. That's okay. Who just carries that around in their pockets or whatever, right? I'll be here all day, though. If you want to come back, bring it by later. If you can, of course, you know where to find me. It'd really make my day if you did. There's times you've got to accept the cards you were dealt and learn to make the best of it. I think I heard a Protectron bark the other day. I love Esme's cooking. It's been so long since I've had food with actual flavor. It's nice to see people around and responding to it. I heard there's some monsters in the pit. Here's an easy riddle for you. I am all around you, but you cannot see me. You know me, but have never met me. What am I? One of the other initiates said, I reek of desperation. Folks don't join the responders for anything. caps. They join to make a difference. If you hang around those raiders, I want nothing to do with you. So this is a place that's bringing all these damn people to Appalachia. Are you at the refuge? We've got people going hungry, and too many mouths to feed at Foundation. I suppose this could help feed our dogs. Maybe next time you can give us something that people can actually eat? Everything is too clean here. I've been dirty it up. My friends didn't want to go. The 
White Spring is fabulous this time of year. That miscreant from Crater scratched my chassis on the way in. White Spring is under our protection.
be of assistance.
Tell us what all of those construction workers are up to. Look at what a mess they're making. These refugees wouldn't last one day. Rucker said to be looking for you. I hope you were able to track down those patient records. These records are going to save so many lives. I'll let Rucker know you came through for us. Best of luck out there. Thank you. There's a lot of supplies here. Maybe I come off a little too strong. No, maybe not strong enough. There's a chess set around here if you ever want to play. Nothing like the feeling of a good job done well. A safe haven filled with people trying to help others? It feels like I've died and gone to heaven. Or hell, if you look out the window.
you ever get that thing? Glad to see you've returned. Are you ready to donate? You do? Amazing. Thank you so much. This is going to be a big help. It just so happens I got a little something for you as a reward for your generosity. Rucker set aside some ultrasite battery cells I can spare you from the ones the White Spring management doles out. Fancy a vertebrate trip? They're not much use for anything else, but I got a feeling you're gonna need them. See? Mutual aid. Everybody wins. Thanks so much for the help. Drop by again. If I know Rucker, I'll be looking for something new every day. Take care of yourself. These robots sure make my job easier. If you're caught out and about with no place to go, the responders have an outpost in Flatwoods. Appalachia's supposed to be the safest place around, but I've heard of the monsters that lurk in the woods here, and I'm not so sure about that. I heard a bunch of nerds arguing over comic book heroes yesterday. Aren't there more important things to worry about? Watching that vertebrate like a hawk. Always make sure to boil your water before you drink it. Hey, what's up? Name's Lennox. You got it, bud. And mechanic. You're looking at more than a decade of military experience in the sky. What's it look like? This is the closest thing we've got to a hangar for this hot mama. If you need to go somewhere, I'm the one who's gonna take you. As long as Rucker clears it, of course. Hey, she might be a used model, but I got her running right. Probably only a 5, maybe 12% chance she'll drop out of the sky. 20 tops. Suit yourself, pal.
you're flying. Oh, how are we going to accommodate so many guests? They aren't even paying. Hey there, sport. What brings you back my way? That's right, looking for someone to help us take the fight to the Fanatics. Surprised we got a tinker, actually. You are interested, right? The Union's back's against the wall. We're doing our best to hold off the Fanatics. Keep them from taking everything. Occasionally, we win some small victories, but not a lot. Got a couple of situations back there right now where an extra hand might tip things in our favor, at least for now. I don't want to call it mercenary work, but I'm not gonna lie. You'll be going there to fight. Fantastic. Let me just get Rucker in here. It's her bird, after all. Thanks for coming by, Rucka. Looks like we got a volunteer to take a trip out to the pit. We've met. Had a feeling you might be up for this when you came by earlier. Guess I was right. Figured you should be involved, if we're gonna borrow your plane. Don't let Lennox hear you call it a plane. She takes it personally. Anyway, sure thing. I guess you've already got all the ultra cells you need. I know you've got mine. Sophie and Esme tell me you helped them out, too, so I expect you got theirs as well. Great. This means a lot to the Union. I'll make sure you're well rewarded for it. I might have some other things I need help with here in Appalachia, too. I'll let you know. Good luck up there. We're counting on you. Stopping in the chat? I'm not complaining. Ooh, what do you call a rad stack on a stage? A tour of stage lights? <laughs> that one always gets me. Whoa, hey, now you look interesting. What's up? I'm Lennox. Yeah, right on. About time we made another trip out there. I mean, me and my girl here. You haven't been, I guess. Rucka said somebody be coming by. Guess you're it. If you're all set, I'm ready when you are. Assuming you got the ultrasight battery cells for this beauty. I'm a miracle worker in the sky. But even I can't make a fly on willpower alone. Remember, anytime you want to take a trip, we're gonna need a full load of those ultrasight battery cells to power this beauty. If you need more, check with those busybodies downstairs you got this batch from. There's always something they need every day. I'll be here when you're ready to go. Look who's back! You better believe it! I once spent four hours juking 20,000 kilos of cargo through the worst thunderstorm I've ever seen. Just all over the place, trying to steer around the worst turbulence. Lightning all around. Felt like I pissed off God herself. Yeah, no problem. Hasta luego.
I'm Hex, leader of the local 42, and you need cell in the area. If you said that you're coming to help, maybe with you here we could finally pull off a raid on the fanatics occupying our foundry. So first, well, meet me on the ground and I'll fill you in. Over here. So you're the one Skippy sent, yeah? I'm Hex, leader of the Union's Local 42. We spoke on the radio as you flew in. I've been doing the rounds, meeting our informants, people on the inside helping us stay one step ahead of the fanatics. Just got word that they're getting a shipment into the supply depot up ahead. The stores they have in there could feed us for a week. I have another spy to meet elsewhere in the city and I'm already running late. How do you feel about raiding a supply depot? Looks like I can really count on you. The depot is just down the road. The supply shipment should be inside, but it's heavily guarded. If you can secure it and send a signal to our scavenger team, they can come in to retrieve the cargo after you've cleared out the guards. All right, I need to get moving. Give them hell and show no mercy. Let's talk again when you're through.
supplies will help replace what was stolen. That's a relief. Head back to the pen and we can talk about hidden foundry next. I'll admit, I had my doubts about getting outside help. But you really showed up out there. Makes me feel better about sending you inside the foundry. The place is crawling with fanatics. It's like a pest infestation, but worse. Pests don't kidnap our people. They're rounding up anyone who can't defend themselves, forcing them to do manual labor. If I had it my way, I'd give them all a molten hot taste of their own... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. They've got Union fighters locked up in cages. They'll be shipped off to the Sanctum for hard labor if the fanatics have their way. Find out where they're being held and get my people out. I'll radio with more instructions after that. Thanks for doing this for us. Your raid will give us some time to collect ourselves, get back on our feet. Before you head out, you might want to talk to our guy Wicker. Heard he needed help with some things that he can't see to himself. Watch yourself in there. We'll hold the fort and make sure no surprises head your way. Good luck. Somehow there's never enough steel to go around in this steel city. Hey, name's Wicker. You look like a new face to me. What can I do for you, new face? Yeah, if you're up for it. I could always use more pure cast steel ingots. We've also had a supply cache stolen by the fanatics. Taking that back would be huge. It'll keep us alive another day. Thank you. Sincerely. for work?
give those bastards. Can't let them win. We have to fight back. I'll never forgive those bastards.